Hey, welcome back Design Squad and welcome to another video for Action Noob to Master Series. And specifically in this video, I'm going to address one of the key comments and one of the theme which I notice in the comments around older videos because at this point, as of filming of this video, we have over... <clears throat> I think we have over 76 videos on YouTube, which are totally free, accessible at any point. People are finding those videos through YouTube search, Google search, actual website, you know, friends and so forth. And a lot of people get confused when, let's say, actual releases an update. So let's say from eight to nine, even now, actual keeps on releasing smaller updates which changes some stuff in the actual actual app. So some of the UI elements are changed. And then, you know, people get confused of how we can achieve things. I show them in the older videos, for example, in drag and drop, in page loading, in variables, and in all the other bits. One thing what I want to just, you know, to make it clear is that most of the functionality which you cover is still available and you can easily access. The only thing what Axure is doing is trying to make it much more usable and user friendly. And you know, just me having this session and, and these episodes is an example that people are struggling, let's say, to learn Axure or they need examples of how to learn Axure. It's a perfect example that a tool is gonna evolve. And depending when we watch this video or one of the videos, it might not be even relevant anymore because it might be an easier way to solve it. And so don't get confused. I'm gonna try to answer your questions as much as I can. But if I can't, you're gonna have to go in depth and play around and experiment with the actual tool. And today I'm gonna show you the example of which is most common and it's to do with drag and drop element. So in a previous video, for example, if I would convert my draggable bubble like so into dynamic panel, and I'm just gonna show you really quickly how to make it draggable back and forth, I could just go new interaction and then find on drag or on drag start, on, on drag stopped, but there was a thing called on drag. Now, people can't find it anymore because of an update. But if you go down below to the dynamic panel options, as you can see, everything here got structured by the purpose, by the theme. So it's gesture, keyboard, mouse interaction, and now dynamic panel interaction, which is this. And everything now got renamed into past tense. And so people can find on drag, for example. And all it is, if I scroll down, you're going to see that there is drag started drag dropped and then dragged. And so everything in Axure at this very moment in late 2019 is in past tense instead of on drag, you know, what was before. And so dragged is really exactly the same thing. And this is perfect example where let's say if I would select dragged, I would go to move this widget, which is our dynamic panel with drag and I would just select that it's on an X axis, meaning from left to right. I could also animate if I want to, but I don't. I would just click OK. And if I preview, you're gonna see that I can just drag it back and forth and I can add boundaries as well. So it stops, but you can then refer to my previous video because functionality is exactly, exactly the same. And so my point being here, you know, it's a short video is that you need to experiment because I'm not going to be able to always pick out different updates because they're so tiny. This is really just a renaming and restructuring of the interaction which happened, you know, instead of on drag, it's now dragged. And so you need to try to figure out which one just play around and everything else I can guarantee is the same because, you know, that what makes actual amazing tool is its flexibility, but also set in stone functionality like this dragging option. It's never going to go away. It's going to stay the same. Maybe properties are going to change. Maybe the way you initiate it, you know, the naming of it is going to change. You know, there could be anything. Other examples of such kind of things, for example, it could be, let's say, if you go on, if you click out of everything, I get a lot of questions of, oh, how do I initiate on page loaded or any other trigger? And I say, well, just click out, don't select anything. So click out, click in a gray space, and then you can add interaction to page as a whole. And here, everything also got renamed or restructured. And before that, let's say we had thing called on page load, 
which is basically what happens when a page is loading and loaded. Now it got remained into page loaded. So everything is past tense, but the point is exactly the same. You can just, you know, it, the details don't really matter. It's still the same. And so if you would go back to any of my videos, I think it was something to do with animations, loading effects, text animation effects, things of restructuring when you load the page, all that jazz, like global variable readouts, it's all under this and it's exactly the same bits it's only semantics will change now you might get confused oh like so you know how do you know that this is actually what i'm looking at and the actual corresponds well again you need to play with it but also the same word still remains so it's like on drag or dragged let's say on page load page loaded so just think in a past tense going forward until actual goes, you know, and iterates and updates more. But this is a really quick video just to give you like a pulse check, answer some of the comments and themes across the videos because there are quite a few and people get confused. And as always, my point is don't blindly follow it. Follow it to an extent, but try to experiment and understand exactly why I do what I do because there's always dependencies. And then you always can find a better way to do something for your specific case for the context you are in. And so I hope it's useful. Give a like, subscribe to this channel, stay tuned for more material like so. I'm always open to your comments. As you can see, I'm willing to address it. So leave comments down below if you have any questions or suggestions whatsoever. And so on that note, I'll see you next time.